<sighs> Are we really doing this again? Are we really firing people for eight, six, eight, ten year old tweets? Well, I guess the world has gone even more mad as the sensitivity levels have reached all time highs right now. I've got good female friends of mine getting blasted for daring to stick up to men or for men. Now we've got this actor from The Flash getting fired for d nearly a decade old tweets. And it's all crazy to me. I seriously don't understand how we're doing this again. Do you remember when we had James Gunn and the Roseanne Barr saga of a couple years ago? Well, if you don't remember, essentially it was a complete um, mess. Cancel culture run amok. First, you would think that really the far left people are really the only people that run uh, cancel culture. But in this case, it was both sides. After uh, Roseanne Barr was fired, then the far, uh, like the more conservative side of Twitter tried to get James Gunn canceled. And that eventually worked. Both people were fired stupidly. And uh, James eventually getting his job back on um, uh, from Disney. But uh, before we get into this story, uh, just a quick 20 second shout out. Today's video sponsor is Ridge Wallet. All right. Father's Day is coming up. I absolutely love my Ridge Wallet. Ever since uh, I brought them on as a sponsor, I switched to it full time. And you know what? They've stuck by me through my spicy videos and uh, through people trying to get them to drop me. So I hope if you're looking for a Father's Day gift, you'll use my link in the pinned comment below. Get yourself a Ridge Wallet today. Now, the news of Hartley Sawyer being fired just broke moments ago. It says Hartley Sawyer fired from The Flash after uh, misogynistic tweets surface exclusive. All right. Well, let's see what The Hollywood Reporter has to say. Exclusive. Actor Hartley Sawyer has been fired from The Flash after host of his tweets containing misogynistic and other ist references surfaced in the past week. The tweets were all from before when he joined the CW series, making references to uncouth things and other types of language that modern day... I haven't seen the tweets yet. Maybe they really are this bad, but I doubt it. Um, so his firing comes in amid nationwide protests against uh, systemic uh, bad behavior and all sorts of stuff, which, whatever. Okay, so it's proof that his firing was another... Uh, being outraged because, you know, they, they want to play this as like a marketing role. Showrunner Wallace tweeted a statement that reads in part, This morning, many of you learned that Hartley Sawyer will not be returning to season seven of The Flash. Concerning his social media tweets, they broke my heart and made me mad. They're also indicative of a larger problem in our country. See the full statement below. Among the tweets that surfaced in the past two weeks are one from 2012, eight years ago, in which Sawyer wrote... The only thing keeping me from doing mildly racist tweets is the knowledge that Al, Al Sharpton would never stop complaining about me. I mean, I, it's a bad joke. I, I don't know. I mean, Al Sharpton is a joke too. Uh, 2014 wrote, enjoyed a secret boob viewing and an audition today. Okay. So? Uh, several tweets refer to do, doing other bad stuff. Did I struggle, struggle myself so I don't have to self-pleasure I guess these are just not good tweets, uh, but fireable from almost a decade ago. I don't, I think we are just going, the, the, the needle is moving a little bit too far. Of course, he issued an apology saying apart, my words irrelevant of being meant with intent of humor were hurtful and acceptable. So he has to apologize for bad jokes. A joke is still a joke. Intent still has to matter, people. It still has to matter. And I know my viewers know this. And I just, I can't understand why we continue to allow people to be basically victimized by out of context interpretations of what they say. You know, by the way, uh, I just want to point out that nearly 40% of my viewers are not subscribed. I hope today will be the day that you consider clicking that little red button below the video to subscribe. It helps new, it helps you, you know, get notified when I upload it. Just makes finding my videos easier and uh, I really appreciate it. He goes on. I'm ashamed I was capable 
of these really horrible attempts to get attention at the time. I regret them deeply. This is not acceptable behavior. These words I threw out at a time when, with no thought or recognition of the harm my words could do. And now have done today. They didn't cause any harm back then. People are just looking for more people to be mad at. Uh, people are looking for any possible reason to to get over on somebody, in particular um, on these issues right now. I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm not going to be offended over jokes. Uh, you could tell all the the crazy jokes about white people you want or men that you want. I will never say that you need to be fired. Um, you know, I, I just I don't understand how we got here. Uh, jokes are jokes and just that. Uh, Sawyer finished Flash in 2017 as Ralph Dibney, a.k.a. Elongated Man. He reoccurred on the show initially and was upped to a series regular in 2018. 2018, ABC canceled Roseanne revival after the star and executive producer Roseanne posted a tweet comparing an Obama White House advisor, Valerie Jarrett, to an ape. <laughs> oh my god so what by the way the the didn't she say she thought she was white anyway isn't her favorite i thought she was white whatever so what i i don't understand intent has to matter look in a time when everybody's throwing nuance out the window i i just I, I have to stand for free speech and, and and for creativity, artistic creativity, and the freedom to tell jokes. Whether you're offended by them or not doesn't qualify them as if whether or not they're a joke. You know, a person can tell a joke uh, and, and not embody its beliefs. Sometimes telling um, dark humor is the way people cope with things. Sometimes people are just messed up. So don't listen to them. You know, don't watch the show if you're that upset about it. I don't believe anyone was really that broken up about a tweet from nearly a decade ago. The network greenlit the spin off the counters, by the way, which was terrible. Uh, after severing ties with Roseanne Barr, Kevin Hart was dropped as a host of the 2019 Oscars after a series of uh, tweets that people now call phobic from several years earlier surfaced. Last fall, Saturday Night Live hired comedian Shane Grills as a reoccurring player, then fired him after terrible words he made on a podcast I, this is for the people out there who who think that uh you know cancel culture isn't alive and well <laughs> come on this joke's funny for 2014 jingle bells batman smells women shouldn't vote <laughs> that's funny so what i i don't understand I mean, doesn't dozing off of my couch like a, ugh. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say that these tweets were, you know, smart being in Hollywood. I'm not even saying that I would necessarily tweet anything. I mean, maybe the Jingle Bells one, because that's funny. But I mean, why? I'm not here to make excuses regardless of my intention. My words matter and carry profound consequences. And mine can ha ha can and have caused pain, embarrassment, along with feelings. I can only imagine to supporters, fans, and my castmates, the crew, my colleagues, and friends, I owe them all an apology. I owe you each an apology. Thank you for holding me accountable. Thank you? Thank you? I am incredibly sorry, ashamed, and disappointed in myself for my ignorance back then. I want to be very clear. This is not reflective of what I think or who I am now. So why fire the guy? 26,000 likes. Clearly people, you know, don't... people. Clearly people accept his apology. So why fire him? It was a joke. He apologized for it. And you have to allow people to grow. This is nearly a decade ago. Years ago, thanks to friends and experiences who helped me open my eyes, I began a journey into becoming a more responsible adult in terms of what I say, what I do, and beyond. I've largely kept that journey private, and this is another way I have let so many down. I still have more work to do, but how I define myself does not take away from the impact of my words or my responsibility for them. I'm very sorry. You'd think the guy ended somebody's life. It was a tweet from a decade ago. 
And I don't even know, you know, how many likes and retweets these things even saw. So what exactly was their reach? This whole thing is ridiculous. Relax, all right? Look, you can be offended by it. You cannot watch the show. The fact that you're going to fire the guy, I don't know. I mean, you can see this. Tay Diggs went on, a rant, went on a rant against white people and was using all kinds of speech on video. Lol, hypocrisy is ridiculous. The same with Wanda Sykes. Both still have jobs. Sykes was even, Sykes was even on Sesame Street. I mean, all right, Warner, and yet Warner Brothers is perfectly comfortable working with Mel Gibson. Cancel culture isn't real, remember? Reminder, James still has a job. I mean, oh dear, seriously well-known headliner who advised a director to, quote, pick cotton, seriously. Lol, these tweets aren't even that bad, and they were obviously done tongue-in-cheek. James's tweets were much, much worse. I don't know why you would, I mean, what is this? What, who wins here? Do you think that firing him is going to change his opinion? No, it's not. It's only going to make him hate you. This whole thing is ridiculous. Stop firing people for 20-year-old tweets or mistakes when they were young. It's ridiculous. You have to let people grow and change. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.